Hello everyone, this is Reggie Time with three more hands to review. These hands came from two sessions I played today on the um, Party Poker Fast Fold Tables. Fast Forward I believe it's called. So we're going to go through these hands, going to not rush through them but we're not going to try and keep the video short and sweet. If you do like the videos, please do click the thumbs up. It's always nice to get a bit of positive feedback. Um, if you don't like them, then click the thumbs down. It's not so nice to get negative feedback, but um, it goes to the territory. And yeah, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. And please do join my Facebook group, which is linked below the video. So there we go with that nonsense out of the way. Let's crack on with... With the hands. So we call a race and let me just get my holder manager up so we can pull some stats. I'm not going to look at it on this screen. The reason I'm using this replayer rather than the um, holder manager replayer is pretty much just to protect the usernames of, of the guys that I'm up against. I can't be asked blanking everyone's names out and I guess it's not really on to be showing guys stats and, and the lines that they take um, of, my, of my opponents, it doesn't seem right so um, yeah, this player is a regular, he doesn't seem too good, he's got an incredibly low C bet, just 15%, I've only got 200 hands on him um, <clears throat> we've got regular, like regular stats 25 slash 17 with a 15% c-bet and a 41% woman soft flop positionally um, it's too early to say but it, it looks kind of like pretty tight early position getting loose towards the button so um, yeah not a terrible regular by any stretch probably not a world beater either So our opponent checks the flop as expected. Um, we bet he check calls. So with his super low C bet, I'm kind of thinking pocket pairs, maybe flush draws, maybe just two overcards. Who knows? He's just checking so many of his hands. It's too hard to say, but I think 90 is a clear bet for value. We take it from there. The turn is a 10. Our opponent checks again. This time I elect to check back, kind of thinking, well, we can still get some value from flush draws. I guess maybe still get some value from like pocket pairs etc but i kind of didn't want to just like keep betting with you know it's an okay hand probably still the best hand but kind of against somebody who checks a lot i'm not really sure what he's doing if he's check, looking to like check raise later streets if he's just like small sample size and he just missed a lot i wasn't really sure what was going on didn't fancy being raised so I just check back to control the size of the pot with a plan of calling most rivers and then his queen popped down, which was kind of irritating because I guess he can definitely have hands like ace, queen, and king, queen that play this way. If he's really passive, like jack, queen of hearts, stuff like that, who knows? Um, so I think he can have a lot of queens. Lots of players might not have lots of queens here, um, but I think this guy, not lots of queens, but he can certainly have more queens than most. Well, that's what I felt anyway. So here we get to the river and our opponent now bets £3.60 or $3.60 as it is. And I guess the question here is against this player type who kind of has a weird super low C bet. Um, and then we cap our range kind of by checking the turn. Do we just call here with two nines, two eights, those types of hands? Or do we just fold because he just seems like weirdly like passive post flop? It's like pretty normal reg pre flop and weirdly passive post flop. I thought this was like a kind of weird kind of hand. It's not particularly interesting. But um I just wonder what you got what your guys' thoughts were on it and like what hand you're calling with here, what hand you're not calling with, and if you do anything different to me on the like the turns especially, I guess with regards to just betting the turn rather than checking. So yeah, that's the first hand. I've had a couple of technical issues while it's been going with the site, so if it seemed a bit jumpy, I do apologise. Hopefully the next one will run much more smoothly. So this time we have 
rocket tents and we raise under the gun and get three bet by a regular on the button and at the time I remember thinking well pocket tens it's kind of it's too weak to fall but get it in that's for sure I think um, it's too strong to fold so I think pre-fold was like a, just a trivial call what else can you do you just call we get a flop of 348 we check he bets again doing anything but check calling just seems bonkers here um, yeah of course we're behind to over pairs but you know if he's just got hands like ASX suited random bluff suited connectors that type of thing there's too much that he's just going to see like 3 bet and C bet with um, at the time I had not many hands on the guy but he's playing 22-14 11% 3 bet which means nothing over the sample size and a C bet of 100% but again sample size stupidly small all I know is he's a regular who looks like he may be on the aggressive side so we call the C bet the turn brings a 6 we check again and our opponent bets $6.40 and this is where we're ending the hand because the question here is just what do you guys do in this spot versus an unknown regular you have an over pair in a 3 bet pot on this board texture what are you doing? I think we have all three options are kind of available to us depending on um, what we think about the opponent. I mean, check folding obviously can't be terrible. I mean, he's repping a pretty strong range here like aces, kings, queens, etc. Um, guess he can have some draws still. Uh, maybe just some random air balls, but seems unlikely. Check call feels like, like the, the worst of the three options to me because kind of it's going to be some very tough spots on lots of rivers um especially any river that brings like an overcard a river that completes the flush there's like tons of straight draws like all like not that he's got them all all the straight draws but i imagine he's seeing like a five or a seven or something like that wouldn't be a nice card so the check call didn't seem like a great option to me and then there's the adventurous option of just check jamming thinking well how the heck can our opponent um consider calling if he just has an over pair you know if he if you were in our villain shoes here and you had just aces or pocket kings and you were like, had your three bet called out of position you got check called on this flop and check jammed on the turn um how often would you be thinking yep yeah, my opponent just has a set here and i'm dead because i kind of guess that's what i think when this happens to me when i'm in position in three bet pots and i get check jammed on the turn kind of a lot of the time it, I think people have sets and a lot of the time they just turn up with sets it's just just how it works you know um so it's a line I've come up against a lot when I've been the in in the buttons position when I've three bet pre-flop with a premium pair check call sorry and my opponent's checked I bet the flop is called it's just like turn relative brick um, he's checked again I bet they've jammed I've called they've always had sets so is it a good time to turn our hand into a bluff and try and rep sets or do you think generally speaking guys just don't fold over pairs in these games so is it going to be check fold because he has no over pair he's never going to fold it is it check call because we just have an over pair in a 3 bet pot or be weak don't like that option much or is it check raise because it looks like he might have an over pair and how can he call with it so those are three options hope you like that one and we'll get on with the last one so in this time we have pocket sixes we flat and open on the button and a regular calls in the big blind didn't know anything about latter bar sorry about the names i thought i blacked them all off clearly i haven't I do apologize if you guys are watching this and you're seeing your names up there try not that it happen again um so we flop a set obviously super happy days checks and um, the player that didn't appear to be regular then makes a c bet given his stack size i make a small raise just like expecting the regular and the big band to get out of the way most of the time here and then just whatever i don't really care what happens against against the guy who doesn't look like he's 
looks like he's a winning player. Um, you know, if he jams, great. If he calls, we just get it in on most turns or any turn. If he falls, well, so be it. That was kind of my attitude. But King Kevin put quite, quite, um, quite a dent in in my plans here by just putting a pretty small cold three bet in, which um, which I thought was interesting. So I guess we got options here and this is where we're going to stop the hand um, and I've already posted this on my Facebook group so if you remember the Facebook group you kind of already know the outcome to this but I think it's an interesting hand do we just go all in here um, just to um, the weaker player folds so do we just go all in here um, thinking that King Kevin can have draws can have just ace queen I guess if you're hoping um, you know, I'm thinking he's usually going to have draws. Maybe top. he's really butchering ace, queen, king, queen, but I doubt it. It seems super unlikely that a skilled regular is going to raise just a naked queen here. But who knows? People play badly sometimes. We all do, myself included. Um, if he's kind of tilted or just off his game, he might just see a hand like ace, queen here. He hasn't three bet preflop and say, fuck it, this board's too wet. Let's build a pot. But again, with that sizing, does that look like somebody who's kind of like wanting to build a big pot with just one pair i don't know um my opinion was and it wasn't really shared by by some of the guys i spoke to was that no one ever like, chooses this size with a draw if he's got a draw here if he's got like, i don't know jack ten of hearts or what have you i think he's going to make it much bigger he would going to want me to fold you know i've, I've raised the preflop raise as, as always i have some kind of thing that i like so, so if someone's going to go for a semi bluff here they're going to have to usually think they're going to make it much bigger um but i guess if he has a hand like queen x heart heart king queen hearts ace queen hearts queen jack hearts queen ten hearts lots and lots of like pair plus flush draw types hands then maybe he just doesn't fucking care and he's just thinking you know what, i don't really care what this guy's got i've got a ton of equity i'm just going to base the rest of this size and just like bosh the turn um so yeah i guess here i mean we're not folding that's that's clear but what's your line going to be is it going to be jam here or is it going to be call because he's given us a price and then just like get away from my hand if the turn brings another heart for example or or what's your plan it kind of i think the two options really are just jam it in his face here and call look to touch hearts and call turns i think that's the two options that i'd probably most like to take but um, if you guys have got any other thoughts on on what action you'd take and maybe you would just call and call on any turn who knows just to keep all these random weird bluffs in and, and what have you who knows what if he checks a turn i guess we're just going to jam for value ourselves and if he checks a turn it breaks if it's like an off suit deuce so yeah we've got lots of options this and lots of interesting things can happen let me know what you think um please as i said earlier do not um forget to hit the like button if you think these videos are okay if you think they're rubbish hit the unlike button and yeah join the facebook group if you don't mind so we'll leave it there i shall post results beneath this video in facebook sometime the day after it's been made and i shall put a link to the results underneath this video when i've posted them okay hope you enjoyed it we'll leave it there and bye bye for now